The views and opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the advertisers, owners, or management of Pacific Telestations, LLC. For comments, opinions, and questions, please email Jess Lujan at jessthebuzz at gmail.com. The Buzz with Jess Lujan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Lujan. Welcome to this edition of The Buzz. Just concluding, of course, Thanksgiving festivities. We're going right into Christmas, and what a great event to start off with. The Festival of Lights. I'm here with Pastor uh, Jared Baldwin at Harvest Baptist Church to tell us all about the Festival of Lights and everything Harvest. All right. Good I'm evening. How are you doing? How are you doing? Doing great. Thank Good, you great, for having me great. on this evening. Hey, pleasure. All right. Well, we do have our Festival of Lights coming up. This is our eighth Festival of Lights, mm -hmm. and it, it obviously, as the name implies, there's a lot of Christmas lights involved. That's kind of how the whole thing started, was a music program, and we started hanging up a lot of Christmas lights around our campus. I got a teaser last night. Boy, wow. Yeah. Fantastic. It's, it's, <laughs> we, we, we have a lot of lights. The entire block really mm -hmm. is lit up, mm -hmm. lit up with Christmas lights, and uh, we have a lot of Christmas music and things. And so this year, every year the program is developed, and this year we have our program with the theme of joy mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of course Christmas season is all about joy and finding joy during the Christmas season and so this upcoming Sunday night December 3rd we have this huge program where we expect to have 1500 to 2000 people on campus uh, if the weather permits and we are going to have a multi faceted program can I talk a little bit about sure, what the different absolutely. aspects are absolutely so at 5 p.m. we're going to be having some of Guam's best food trucks uh, all here on campus that's the only thing you really need to bring money for is they're not gonna give you the food for free but other than that everything else the rest of the evening is free and so if you'd like to bring your family and and participate in some of these uh, food trucks and vendors it's gonna be great that's from at 5 p.m. at 6 p.m. the first of two musical presentations mm -hmm. called Joy will be happening in the auditorium. It's a 30 minute Christmas program musical with the theme of Christmas and joy. Mm -hmm. And it's a great opportunity for you to just kind of sit in a beautiful air conditioned auditorium and enjoy some beautiful Christmas music and, uh, and just a, a brief uh, uh, focus on what Christmas is really all about. And then at 6.30, during that first presentation, we're gonna be opening up our Family Life Center, the gym. Mm -hmm for what we call the jamboree. It's really carnival-like games, except for unlike a carnival, you don't have to pay for any of it. Mm -hmm. It's all free and it's geared for the kids. We have 20 plus games, a bunch of other activities, a climbing wall. We're gonna be having a train, a Christmas train, gonna be giving rides, a lot of different fun things uh, for children. And that'll be going on from 6.30 until we wrap it up for the evening. And then our second performance of our musical program, Joy, will be happening at 7.30 p.m. on Sunday night. So there are two options for the music program, 6 and 7.30. Mm -hmm. The kids' uh, games will begin at 6.30, and then, of course, our uh, food trucks will open at 5 p.m. Now, now, when you talk about the performance, the two performances that, that are going to happen that, that evening, 6 and 7.30, right? Now, are those those performances done by the Harvest uh, Christian Academy uh, and or the, uh, uh, the the Bible College it's, or both? <laughs> this is actually primarily this year. So mm -hmm. every year we do it a little different. And and I can talk. We have two other concerts coming up where we're going to feature different groups. Uh -huh, this uh -huh. year, one of the groups we're trying to feature is our church musical performers. We uh -huh. have so many talented musicians in our church, and so the program Joy is primarily. Uh, Harvest Baptist Church uh, community members mm -hmm. that are all part of our music uh, team, our ministry team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that'll be the main music program for this Festival of Lights is all Harvest Baptist Church volunteers doing the music. Okay, fantastic. So again, this that's this uh, this Sunday evening. It's a fun-filled family event that's going to happen I, again. You know, I, I was uh, a part of the, uh, this last year as well, and it, it was nonstop people uh, coming in. I was just, I was assigned to face painting. <laughs> yes, yes. This year I'll be part of the welcoming committee. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's probably your gifts are a little more given towards welcoming than face painting. Just saying. I was so. a traffic director. Yes. <laughs> 
perfect. And, and, and so that, that evening again, uh, the food trucks will be here. Uh, this is, I mean, I, I remember last year, so many people, the food trucks ran out. I, I think they're going to gear up for yes, uh, more food. Yes, we have right? more food trucks, <laughs> and then we have the food trucks expecting more customers. Customer, and so yeah. last year, we, we didn't realize that by adding the food trucks, mm -hmm. uh, how much the attendance would increase. Sure, and sure. we we almost doubled our attendance last year. Mm -hmm. And so we're expecting it to go up again this year. Mm -hmm. And so we're prepared by adding in more vendors and by having the vendors bring a little more food. There you go. Now for the folks who maybe new to Guam or have never experienced uh, maybe harvest, maybe the lights they've maybe driving by, but how exactly do they get here from off Marine Drive or okay. off the uh, the main main highway? So off of Route 8, mm -hmm. uh, you turn at the what we call the mobile McDonald's. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've ever been in this area, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, there's one road by the mobile McDonald's that comes back here into our village and you'll see the sign for harvest right there at the corner but just turn at the mm -hmm. mobile McDonald's off of Route 8 that's Sergeant Roy T. Damien Jr. Street yep. mm -hmm. and you just come back about one mile and on the left hand side you'll see the sign for harvest ministries and if you're here after 6 30 all mm -hmm. the lights mm -hmm. will be on so just follow the glowing mm -hmm. part of the village because this whole place mm -hmm. is going to be illuminated mm -hmm. but you can just come right back and then we'll have traffic uh, direction where we'll help you find good mm -hmm. parking, uh, safe parking, and then you'll be able to participate in the whole evening. Now there are folks probably listening out there. This, this Harvest Baptist uh, Baptist Church uh, sponsored. Uh, I'm not a Baptist. Uh, can I? Can I come? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, this is really yes, it's put on by our church community, mm -hmm. but this is really our Christmas card to the whole island. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. our way of opening our doors and saying, hey, we just want to uh, be a blessing to our neighbors and our community. Uh, we have something in common here on Guam. Almost all of us celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. All of us enjoy Christmas and everything that Christmas brings. So we like to uh, take a special time, open up our campus to the whole community and be a blessing. That's why we're, we're not using it as a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. We're not using it as a opportunity to increase the number of people that go to our church or you're not going to be given a sales pitch to enroll your kids in our school. Mm -hmm. This is purely just a Christmas event. It's an open house for us and a great way for us to say Merry Christmas to our friends and family on Guam. Now, Harvest House is located here in, in the campus as well. Uh, that will be open that evening as well for the folks who may be interested and if there's, say, a, a organization they want to be involved with or, or, or have a, a little bit to, to, to give, it's going to be open that night as well, right? That is correct. You know, for years, Harvest House, our, our, it's a separate 501c3 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that ministers directly to the foster care community of Guam. They have an annual Christmas event mm -hmm. where different local uh, uh, public and private partners help donate to, to provide a nice meal to every foster family mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and have a nice event for them. Well, this year we're combining it, putting it on the same day as Festival of Lights so that those children that are in foster care can participate like in our children's uh, game night mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so that they can come and enjoy the Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. So that's earlier in the day, that afternoon. But we are going to be having the Harvest House Resource Center open as an open house that evening as well. Okay, great. And it's really easy to find. Basically, look for the Christmas train because it's going to be pulling in right there by the Harvest House that Resource House. Center. Okay, fantastic. So some of the things, again, the the, the events that are going to be happening that evening, you have two concerts, or I'm sorry, uh, performances, uh, programs, one at 6 and one at 7.30, yeah? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And then the food trucks do open at 5 p.m. and they'll be open all evening. Mm -hmm. And last year, we were overwhelmed by how many people came mm -hmm. when the food trucks opened mm -hmm. up. And so I'd recommend coming. We're opening them a little earlier, so 5 p.m. be here for the food mm -hmm. trucks, and they'll be open throughout the Now, day. some of the concerns, of course, uh, we live in a, in, in, in a different world now, security, parking, and, uh, and all that. Yes. All that has been uh, oh, yeah. worked we, out. We, because we've been doing this for a number of years mm -hmm. now, this is our eighth one, we've refined as best we can uh, all the, the different logistical issues, including mm -hmm. we have a, a number of people be on parking duty throughout the night. We have security patrolling the campus the entire time. And uh, we have a lot of people keeping an eye on things throughout the mm -hmm, evening. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you've got it all set up already, food trucks and all that, but for the folks out there and say, hey, I want to know more about maybe Harvest House or anything else that you guys are doing and, and they, they want to help out or want to be a part of, of, of uh, maybe this year's event and maybe not, but maybe next year. How can I be a part? What number can they call? Who can they call? Well, they can contact me. Uh, I'm the executive pastor here at Harvest, mm -hmm. and my number four seven seven six three four one, or go to our website hbcguam.org, and you can email me through that. You can also see a lot of different information about our ministry there, and just contact me. 
Jared Baldwin here at Harvest. Come up and introduce yourself during the event if you're here, and uh, we're already planning for next year. There we go, absolutely. And you know what, we're gonna take a quick break, uh, pay some bills right now. When we come back, we're gonna bring you some musical performances. We're gonna go back into the auditorium, tease you a little bit, give you a, a, an idea of, of what's gonna happen here at, uh, at Harvest, here at Harvest uh, Baptist uh, Church, here on Sunday, December 3rd, right? That's correct. Uh, 2018, starting at 6 p.m. Little bit of teaser when we return. Be right back. 